Henry. Uh, no, Miss Battleax. Did you just say no to me, Henry? Uh, no, Miss Battleax. I mean, well, yes, Miss Battleax. But you see, Miss Battleax, sit. Uh, uh, yes, Miss Battleax. Perhaps there's someone else who'd like to share the reason for Henry's good mood with us. Oh, yes, Miss. They were arguing, Miss. Really, Margaret? About which was the best song ever. I see. Thank you, Margaret. And then... I said, thank you, Margaret. And which song, in your opinion, is the best song ever, Henry? Um, Thrush Hornets? Is the wrong answer, Henry. There are many songs in this world of ours. Some are good, and some not so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play you a selection of the songs which I consider to be the best. And one, two, three, four. Another one, especially for you, Henry. Away! <laughs> song which I personally think is the best ever, and I'm going to be it just for you. <laughs> Looks like Henry's enjoying himself. Let me through, Margaret. He might need our help. Oh, I reckon Henry can look after himself. I said let me through. <laughs> Bro, 
Shall I? Sit down, the rest of you. And now, it's time for round two.
And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Henry, Mum says... Out of the way, Worm! They're going to put someone in the Bog of Doom! Mum says she doesn't care who's going into the Bog of anything. Your homework's more important. Oh, no! I can't believe it! Nothing is more important than the Bog of Doom! So move over, smelly nappy baby! Mum says homework now, Henry! Oh, I can't look! <laughs> I said, homework now, Henry. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! No! Henry! Last night was amazing, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah! It was too cool for school. <sighs> didn't see it. it. Didn't see it? Why not? Homework. Homework? Don't tell me you actually did some. Of course I didn't. But Mum wouldn't let me watch TV. So I read my gross class zero bumper annual instead. Oh, uh, the one from last year or the year before? Oh, last year's. One before was rubbish. Yeah, it was. Henry? Ralph? In here now? <laughs> So, uh, of course, as you all know, the first subject of the day is homework. I'm assuming you haven't done any, Henry. Uh, no, miss. And what is your excuse this time? Um... You know, Henry, you could actually try doing some homework. <laughs> yeah? And how am I going to do that? Well, there are lots of websites that can help you with your homework. Well, is there one that actually does your homework for you? Well, what would be the point of that? Worth a look, Henry. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Brian! Mum says... Go away, Worm. Can't you see I'm busy? Mum says she doesn't care it. What? She doesn't care that I'm doing homework? Henry? You're doing your homework? Yes. Look. The ultimate website for homework. Oh, Henry. You are doing your homework. Keep up the good work, Henry. It's all worth it in the end. Mum! Hmm, let's see. The ultimate website for homework excuses. <laughs> this is what I need. Let's try the random selector button. And what is your excuse this time? Well, I was halfway through my homework and I got distracted, miss. Did you know? <laughs> And what exactly was it that distracted you, Henry? An investigation into the root cause of physical randomicity, miss. E eh? Yes, it's a really interesting subject. Would you uh, like me to tell you all about it, miss? E e no, Henry, not now. But I'm glad to hear you've been doing some work, of sorts. So, Henry, anything distract you from your homework last night? Well, yes, Miss Battleaxe. I'm waiting, Henry. The fascinating question of whether man is mighty or mundane. Hmm. And what conclusion did you come to? Ah, uh, well, I didn't, miss. You see... Oh. Oh. Don't tell me, Henry. You got distracted. <laughs> yes, miss! Intergenetics. Interglyco what? Interglycogenetics. Who can tell me what this means? Uh, Brian? Uh, an in-depth analysis of whether you mm. really belong in your family or whether you are a changeling who has been left there as a punishment. Uh, nearly, Brian. Well, uh, I'm glad to see that someone else is keeping up with you, Henry. So, that will be your homework for tonight. I expect an essay on the subject of interglycogenetics <gasps> on my desk by the start of school tomorrow. <gasps> Class dismissed. <laughs> yeah, 
stop. I mean what I say, everyone. Triple detentions all round if anyone, and I mean anyone, fails to deliver. Oh, Henry, this is going to be so hard. <laughs> Game of football, Brian? No, I'm off to the library. Even I'm worried about this homework, Henry. Well, aren't you going to give me a hard time too, bogey brain? Huh? You talking to me, Snot Slime? Yeah. How much do you know about interglycogenetics? Quite a lot, actually. Huh? You mean, it's, it's really a subject? Yes. And it just so happens that my dad's best friend is the head of the Institute of Interglycogenetics. Really? Yeah, really. And it just so happens that he's coming to our house for dinner tonight. So I am sorted. Um, how about that game of football, Ralph? Uh, yeah. All right, then. Did I just imagine all that? Interglycogenetics. It'd be my pleasure, Margaret. Interglycogenetics is a groundbreaking new area of research that started only 20 years ago. Can you believe I'm doing this? I'm not leader of the Purple Hand Gang for nothing, you know. And here's something else that no one else knows. Scientists have discovered that if you multiply the number of genes by the number of times you sneeze in a millisecond, you'll be able to... How fascinating. Um, would you like some more sprouts? Yeah, oh, uh, thank you. So then I blah, 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 blah. And so that's where we've got to so far. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Reckon I've got enough to please old Battleaxe. So, would you like me to tell you what our plans are for the future? So, uh, I see you have all done your homework. <laughs> Including you, Henry. Yes, miss. And here's something else that no one else knows. Scientists have discovered that if you multiply the number of genes by the number of times you sneeze in a millisecond, you'll be able to... Uh... Well, it's hard to be impressed after all this time, Henry. But what I will say is that you seem to have avoided a triple detention <laughs> for once. Ah, Margaret, let's see what you've come up with. And here's something else that no one else knows. Scientists have discovered that if you multiply... Margaret, what have you to say for yourself? You appear to have copied Henry's homework. Quite unbelievable in the circumstances. But, but... No buts, Margaret. It's all here in black and white. <laughs> Looks like it's a triple detention for you, bogey brain. However, I have decided not to give you a triple detention, Margaret. Huh? Instead, you will attend a three-hour talk. You what? Three hours? To be given by the head of the Institute of Interglycogenetics this afternoon. No, please, give me the detention instead. <laughs> Result! You and Henry. Huh? Uh, yes, Miss Battleaxe? Since you seem to be such an expert on the subject, you will attend the talk too. I'm sure you'll both find it fascinating. 